Hey guys, welcome back. Mist of Pandaria is just around the corner and I decided to recreate the simple minimalistic looking UI, the classic dark one that we used to have in the past for Mist of Pandaria as I would love to play with this UI and probably some of you as well. I found a bunch of add-ons that work great right now, but keep in mind that as we transition into Mist of Pandaria, some of the add-ons will be bugged, but we have a solution for that as well. Let's start with it. The first uh, thing that makes everything dark is called Dark Mode UI. In order to access dark mode UI, you do slash dark mode. And here you have a lot of customization. Uh, you can use thin borders. You can use uh, to have a darkness around your buffs and so on. It basically here you can uh, change the color of your UI if you want even darker black, like all the way. If you want class colors and it tries to attack all the elements in the game, as you can see. And um, I like to keep it on darker plus somewhere around here. It's pretty good to me. And then you have to do a reload, reload UI. Actually, it look, looks better like this. If you see it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a reload just to make sure that um, we make it black again. This is the most important one. Then we move to the questing add-ons. We have Questy, uh, the latest version installed um, with Questy Tracker and all the things. And also we have Reset XP. Some of you asked in the past, how do I make the rest of XP dark? It's easy. You go to options, you go to look and feel, and you choose dark mode by, by, by bypass here. Now, rest of XP does have a lot of uh, free features and you can use it. However, this is um, an add-on that is paid. If you want to get one, there's a link in the description. If you use my link, you get a 10% discount and also support this channel by uh, getting a guide. So if you plan to get one in the future, please do. Moving on to the next one, we have a hiding bar. As you can see this yellow thing here, you can move it wherever you want and it pops out your minimap button so we can keep the minimap really clean, right? I usually keep it around here somewhere and then uh, whenever I need to access my minimap buttons, I just hover over it and then we open things that we don't know the command for them to open. It's pretty simple. We have the quartz casting bar. Um, after hiding bar, we have obviously sexy map. Sexy map comes with a default uh, preset called uh, faded square. I like it very much. It's square. It's simple. And um, I, I just like it. I don't. You don't have to do a lot of customization. That's what I'm trying to say. For uh, nameplates, we have plater. Classic plater. Uh, we, it has all it needs you can customize it further though but it has the name of the mob the hp and the level and uh, that's more than enough for me just keep in mind that you also have an option to customize it trinket menu obviously and uh, as you can see trinket menu gets darkened by um the lord the ui the dark ui uh if you want to open it, slash trinket menu options, or you go here and uh, right click the toggle options. Very easy to use. It's kind of a must for uh, Mr. Fandaria, as we will have a lot of trinkets. Another uh, interesting thing, as you can see, we have 36 bars in this UI. You can put two on the side if you want, but I do have a ring menu, which is an add on that pops uh, a wheel with anywhere from 12 to 36 um, extra slots. Currently, mine is bound on K, but I can't find the options anymore for ring menu so i don't know how to bind it so if you have an old um, add-on pack of mine under the wtf file you can find the binding for uh, ring menu and put it there it's probably going to get updated as soon as possible i'm going to leave it in the pack and i'm going to show you how to update the add-ons from curse forge from a uh, ring menu we have leatrix map and leatrix plus you do slash First, the Leatrix map, you guys know it already. It's kind of like really cool. And uh, slash LTP. To make the UI look more like mine, you have to go to a couple of things here. For example, um, hide the chat buttons, unclamp chat frame, so you can make it look like, like this. Really clean and neat. Uh, hi. Um, on top of this, I'm using the font called Prototype. It's going to be in the add-on folder make sure you take the font folder and put it next to your launcher if you cannot find your add-on folder you go to your uh, curse forge add-on updater and you click here next to mob classic and you go open add-ons folder add-ons here you're gonna have all the add-ons 
and then you go into classic and you put the fonts folder right here see next to the launcher so it's quite easy to find and put the font folder right there Leatrix Plus comes with a lot of other options. Increase chat history, um, show class color in chat. If you go to interface here and you can enhance your tooltip. Currently, there's a bug here because I cannot attach it to my mouse, but it's going to be fixed soon, probably. Enhance professions. As you can see, it creates a bigger uh, window for the professions, but for the quest log as well. Show player chain gives me the nice um, rare... Um, chain around my unit frame and obviously there are a lot of other things i like this one class colored flames frames as it puts your class color above your name right here and just just a lot of other system max camera zoom wither density faster auto loot it, it's just a great add-on generally speaking and you can use it for a variety of things i'm trying to figure out if i missed anything out from here Obviously, we have Bug Grabber and Bug Sack that are going to grab your bugs and um, not pop them on the screen. So far, the um, add-ons do not come with a lot of errors, so it's looking pretty good. After you install the pack, uh, you just have to go to Curse Forge, install the Curse Forge add-on updater, um, locate your uh, folder, and just keep on updating them as the add-on comes. Now, this is the basic UI that you can install and make the game look like this. It's going to take a bit of work. Probably you have to work with uh, options. You go to graphics. Uh, my UI scale currently is about 77% to make it look like this. I can make it even smaller if I want. But I'm playing a, a 1440p rescale to 1920x1080. Maybe I'll just keep it like 1440p. I won't uh, render scale it anymore. To remove the Griffins from Leatrix Plus. And um, this is it, guys. Um, I'm going to come with another add-on video in the next couple of days. I'm going to make a video about 10 add-ons that are great to have for Mr. Fandari. I have some nice ideas. Uh, useful add-ons and fun add-ons as well um, that you can add to your pack. And then the next time you're just going to get them from here. Simple. Uh, we have Quartz as a cast bar. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. It's pretty one of the best cast bars. It has a lot of customization. Um, I keep it like this for now. But pretty much that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to like the video. And um, if you're getting a rested XP guide, make sure to use my link. Until next time, stay frosty. Oh, and by the way, we're going to stream at Twitch.tv the launch of Mob. Or maybe the first days of Mop and so on. I'm going to level this um, mage to 90. As is the only character that I haven't cut at level 85. And the rest of them are 80. I kind of skipped uh, Cataclysm. Which was a shame. But it is what it is. I didn't have time. But I think I want to give Mop a try. Just to see how it is. Thank you again for watching. And bye bye.